While still reeling from the economic effects of COVID-19, Mongolia was dealt with another shock. The Russian Federation's invasion of Ukraine. Mongolia's economy before the COVID-19 pandemic had been generally sound. Despite lifting pandemic-related restrictions and a successful vaccination campaign, the Russian Federation's invasion and PRC's COVID-19-related border restrictions continued to create disruptions in Mongolia's trade. The Russian Federation and the PRC are Mongolia's major trading partners. Inflation spiked to 16.1% in 2022, and was particularly high for food and fuel. The rising prices were hitting Mongolia's population, especially the vulnerable ones. To help the government set policies in place to cushion its people from the effects of these shocks, ADB, with co-financing from the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, approved the Weathering Exogenous Shocks Program. The program supports government measures to create resilience in the population, specifically the poor and vulnerable groups, to adverse economic shocks. As an immediate output, the program supported the government's initiative to temporarily increase direct cash transfers to households, aiming to reach 480,000 vulnerable households. After the program, cash transfers have been given to vulnerable households, that is, 100,000 Mongolian Tugrik via the government-led child money program. Vulnerable groups are protected from the bad effects of external shocks. And pressures from rising prices have been addressed. ADB, AIIB, and Mongolia, working together to enable the poor and vulnerable withstand and recover from economic shocks.